Hey guys, this is Junior Trader, and in this video, we are taking a look at QQQ, SPY, as for the broader market indices, and then we'll take a look at Microsoft, Apple, Google, and Netflix. Junior Trader, wait, what happened to Amazon and Meta? You didn't say that, that you're going to cover that today. Well, yes, I will skip those out because I talked about Amazon right over here yesterday. This is the same update because the market hasn't opened. So the technical, so if you want to check out on Amazon, just check out this video of mine. There's a massive move that's going to come on this, possibly going to come on this, I mean. If things happens in certain way that I'm talking about in this video, as if those price action develops, right? It's right at that critical moment, so you don't want to miss this because this is where the moves are taken, right? And on the other side, flip side as well. These are the very pivotal moments. So yeah, Amazon stock. Check out this video here, and so on Meta. I did a video here as well on Meta as well. Check this video out on my channel. So that's why these two things I'm not covering in this particular video because I already talked about them. All right, so let's start off with. Actually, let's start off with tech stocks and then we'll go come to QQ and SPY at the very end. So Microsoft, guys, what are we seeing with Microsoft? Structure, guys, has been still bullish. Actually, we don't need this previous trend line. Let's get rid of that. So structure on Microsoft is still bullish. Still a higher highs, very steep higher lows, very steep climb. So we had one red candle, but that was... It. it's just a pullback structure is still bullish Microsoft can stay bullish as long as it's above 418 that can just result into a pullback but right now I'm not even seeing that there is some cool off coming if we see another red candle here that takes out the body of this green candle then maybe but right now this is still looking very strong I'm not seeing potential of downside any Cool off intraday short may come that will be below 425 but price action is not even looking in that direction on hourly interval yeah you can see we have been just plain bullish and actually let me turn on my intraday levels as well i was doing some uh, crypto stocks videos before so um i had just turned off the intraday levels there because we didn't need those so i'll let but for for microsoft we need that yeah so yeah, right now, I mean, even intraday pullback at 427.86 cents is just a possibility. This is just still so bullish. Um, yeah, there is no downtrend on this pull. I, I mean, intraday shorts can come for which you can use my intraday levels, you know. Um, but then other than that, nothing else I'm seeing to the downside. It's just bullish, guys. If it wants to result, again, these are the extensions. These are the tops where you would like to take partial profits out and reload into the new position right i mean into the pullback and with the stop loss on the other side i just did the indicator depth level high on the intraday levels now you can see you have some more day trading levels as well so if we cut below 429 cut below wow yeah 429 and 36 cents watch the 20 hours moving average but if we lose that as well eventually then it may at least give some intraday shot to 427 but hard to say below that that's why i'm saying it's just bullish so just trade in the direction pullbacks can be bought up on this in my opinion unless we lose the structure but that is like if we lose 427 maybe just 425 and after that maybe 420 but that 20 sorry 200 hours moving average but all in all microsoft is still bullish even until 418 but yeah those cool offs you have to see then if these levels hold then you can you know things can be bought back up on these levels but that's yeah that's the strength of microsoft right now guys strong is still strong uh daily interval on apple so apple wow look at this thing one day huge sell off and the next day just got bought back up right uh so yeah still hanging around it's not bearish that's what i was saying that you know, if we lose this level like 189 and 98 cents, some cool offs may come. We got that cool off, but 20 hours, sorry, 20 days moving average, I would still expect it provided that support. We pretty much found support at one of our level 186 and 66 cents due to this previous recent pivot, right? And this is what we were also talking about. And uh, yeah, that was the area of potentially a price reaction. And we got that. Technically, Apple is still in an uptrend, all in all, in the structure. Um, yeah that's that again trade with the trend pullbacks on this are a buy still it's not looking the downside game structure is still holding on apple 
and yeah that was it that was it and now at this point yeah pullbacks until 20 and 200 hours moving average are still a buy again pull buy into the pullbacks have a stop loss on the other side price action is still in the bullish direction right now if we start to lose eventually 220 hours moving average then swing short may also develop but right now i'm just not seeing structure for that all right and again trade level by level stop loss on the other side if pullbacks fails and it starts to turn that's the thing let's say pullback comes and you buy at these levels with the stop loss on the other side and it starts to go up that's great but then keep watching the levels uh, price action at these significant levels because if you start to see again resistance happening here that may turn into a double top as well so take partial profits out there and then see if it continues higher with the rest of the position if it starts to come lower and breaks the structure and you already know how to see the structures i have been teaching for so long in my all the videos right and um yeah then get out fully right once the structure breaks so that's that that's your apple let's take a look at but yeah all in all structure on daily is still bullish guys uh google so google trying to cool off a little bit but still holding strong uh, there is no sign of downside right now um if we lose 20 days moving average there's a cool off chance that may come again to 163 that's something can be looked into this but nothing other than that right now right now i uh, not i am bullish <laughs> that's funny uh the stock price is still bullish uh yeah I'm, i mean i'm also well in that what the price action is telling me is that's what pretty much i'm in going to be you know uh telling as well that that's what my sentiment is because that's what price action is and then i'm providing the level if any break of structure happens with google you can also try to follow along this trend line so um let's say if google struggles to get out of this trend line technically this is the area that if google gets out of this trend line with the support at 175.71 cents it can continue another leg up higher uh, but if it lose again 174.71 cents this may come down again to 173 that's why we, you have to see the price action and you have to see wait and watch the break of 20 hours moving average as well if that happens then yeah it may come down to 172 and 95 cents then you are seeing if 200 hours moving average holds or not but yeah so still yeah the pullback has been coming that's fine but that's just a pullback right now on daily interval intraday yes these are just a pullbacks but structure has not fully turned bearish in my opinion yeah they are junior trader what are you saying i'm you're i'm seeing downtrend lower highs lower lows yes those are intraday short plays but all in all swing structure is still bullish as i just showed you on the daily interval nothing has changed on that so yeah intraday plays are different you can already trade those with those levels that i provided uh, and the concept of price action but swing structure is still bullish so you shouldn't plan to hold intraday below uh, those structural areas right that if breaks then swing can turn they can turn into swing and accordingly size and size out positions right that's why i like to trade with shares amazon meta i'm gonna skip as i said because i talked about it in my previous videos over the weekend check out those videos netflix structure is still bullish plain and simple uh the structure on this is still bullish even if it come down to 624 i mean yeah this thing can stay up here guys for quite some time 50 and 20 days moving average will take their time to catch up and yeah these things may stay up here for quite some time pull back on these can be bought back up in my opinion and um yeah they have a lot of room to stay still still bullish just my opinion though okay cool that's that's netflix and all right what we have with oh yes qq and spy let's go over there now all right, I talked about guys, this one red candle is not going to change anything. That's sell off that game, right? I said that it's just a pullback, cool off, you know, nothing else. Structure is still bullish. QQQ is still bullish. The, if this has to turn into distribution phase with this red candle, big bearish red candle, then we have to start to see the consolidation here and then finally losing the level of 454. But that will take a while. Let the 20 days moving average catch up this may turn into distribution phase pullbacks on this are still a buy technically the structure is still bullish and then you can size out at these top areas right now or if it carries up then just hold on to your partial positions that's the way to do it and on hourly interval showing you there as well qq yeah still looking strong and on qq i have to change the intraday depth level because uh, that we don't need high here yeah here we go 
Yeah, structure is still bullish as long as we continue to hold the level of 454 right now. Pullbacks are just a buy. If we lose 454, there's another support sitting at 451. 200 hours moving averages coming from below. <laughs> it's just bullish. Pullbacks are just a buy right now. Spy, spy is a little bit weaker than QQ. I would say that. Uh, this is the spy. Uh, but the structure is still bullish. Now let's see if spy forms a distribution phase here. Let's see. If that happens, then you have to see the and wait for the break of 524 with 20 days moving average break, and then we might come down to 518. That will be the next test. If we lose 518, then much lower. But right now, no, this is, I can't say, well, okay, well, here was the thing. We talked about upside is coming at that pivot. We got the play. Partial profit should be taken here. Let's not get greedy. If it has to turn into distribution phase, you have to see and wait and watch the break below 524. Otherwise, it will just continue higher. All right, that's SPY. Guys, oh well, let's get to the hourly interval as well on SPY. You can see precisely at 200 hours moving average, we got bought back up. You can see that candle over there, right? Um, yeah, that's SPY. <laughs> yeah. 527 is the first area to watch. If it loses it, then the structure will start to look weaker because then 200 hours moving average will lose as well. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Um, oh, yeah. And also, guys, if you're interested to check out this uh, channel of mine where I am covering all my this dividend portfolio, public facing dividend portfolio that I'm building, I'm making moves here, providing all the updates. If you are interested to follow along, check out this channel of mine. Hit the subscribe and like on this channel as well. Link you can find in the description of this video. And also, if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below of this video. I have two indicators, two trading pods, and Wall Street alerts. All right, guys, with that, I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.